Okay, hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to import your model to Neos VR. So, to make things a lot easier, first import your model to Blender and apply all the materials to the model. So, you want to click the body, go to the materials, the different parts, and make sure you have applied you simply do that just by let's do the hair for example get rid of that open your hair texture boom just like that and it'll probably when you first import it'll be like that but there's material mode so you can actually see the texture applied to your model uh, the next thing you want to do um, is uh, for best results you want to rename some of the bones um, like they have a specific structure for the hand and shoulder and spine etc etc but I will leave a link in the description to the Neos um, documentation about bones but not um, necessarily do you have to do it um, but it uh, works out better okay so next we will go into Neos VR and um, I'll show you the Neos VR part of importing your model okay so one thing I forgot to mention was when you hit export on your model um, you want to make sure that in patch mode it is set to copy and this thing is uh, clicked as well um, so that way when you import it into NEOS the textures will already be applied to the model you imported okay All right, okay, so now it's time for the Neos part of importing your avatar. So let's get started. I'm gonna switch to smooth POV here. And what you wanna do is open your big menu. Um, it's not gonna show um, on this recording, but I'm gonna open the file browser, navigate to where your FBX is double click it and you will have this window here and you want to click 3d model regular avatar uh, auto humanoid hit advanced settings and what I like to do is use a tomb shader but um, if you don't that's that's just part of preference but um, yeah and uh, yeah all the textures will be applied to it as we did earlier um, Let's just use one uh, for the scale. Um, so yeah, that's all you really have to do. Uh, and there's nothing else we need here to do. So now you hit run import. And here is your model now. You, what you want to do is open your big menu again, click the home button, and there's a little tool called Avatar Creator, which you must align to your avatar. So the head goes on like so, and I position that like there. And on this window, so you do want to show the tooltips. And you want to position your left and your right hand. I'm going to position them like so. And that should be good there. You want to grab the ball. And that goes under there, under your pan. And you want to grab this one. Because this will be where your laser pointer will be. So let me just do that and you want to grab this little thing here 
because this is where you can put your tools on your hand. So I'm going to put it about here. And I'm going to turn off symmetry because that will just screw things up. So let's move the whole thing there. And we'll position this again. About there. And that's about there. And I will turn this to the side and put it about there. And then you want to, whoops, use the line head up you can about there and make sure protect after is checked set up eyes and the tools and then all you got to do is hit create and there is your avatar and then you can just click it and uh, jump into it and where's the mirror here it is Let's go all the way over to the mirror. Boop, 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 boop. And there's your avatar set up. Now, um, for dynamic bones and stuff, uh, that's, you got to do a bit more, but I'm going to do that in my next video. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and uh, yeah thanks for watching and uh, peace